Ooh, what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we heard Madarame's confession and in this episode we're going to go ahead and head over to Kichijoji. But we have to head to the Inogami line first. Wherever that is, where if this exclamation point. So let's do it. Hey. These stairs will take you to the Inogami line. This is the way to Kichijoji. I'm getting excited. Alright All right, then, let's, let's go. go. Alright. And apparently there's... Plenty of shops All that right. are here also, Look. so that's gonna be nice. Only 200 yen, not bad. We got plenty of money, surprisingly. Using the train, I know how that works. Those two. What are you doing, Makoto? Makoto, Makoto. Ooh, the music. Do do do. Do do do. Oh, so this is Kichi Joji, huh? You can tell it's nothing like Shibuya, just from the atmosphere alone. Well, yeah, looks like there's a lot of shops here that you can't find at Shibuya. Not that I'd really know. Seems interesting. Right? Oh, it's got your attention now, huh? Ahn's not here because she's busy, but I bet it'd be fun to come here with some more people. I think the dark sign is one block up from Main Street. And right. Since we're here, I won't say no to checking out a bunch of the other shops on the way. I can right, cool, oh. We can use third eye. Okay, we can explore all these, explore all of these uh, shops here. Hmm. What the? What are you doing? Um. My, my, what a coincidence! Uh huh. Sure. Focus. Ooh, what's this? Information desk. Hi there. Hey. Any questions? About the stores. Well then. Excuse me, unique secondhand clothing stores here. Uh, I specifically want Sudi clothing. Anything I should know? Actually. Huh. Okay. What do you recommend? Well then. And just think, please allow me to explain your minor, correct? If that's the case. Rue du Chochu. You'll find darts and billiards in my arms. That's where we want to go. Uh, how about for a. Uh, what about somewhere unique? Did you know? Oh, yeah, it's one of the city's hidden gems in this temple in, in the promenade. It's even popular among young people who are looking for some guidance. Maybe that doesn't really include students like you. <laughs> if you're ever interested, you should check it out. Anything else you wanted? Um, about the city. Well, then. Finally, please allow me to explain. There are four different areas. On the promenade, you can find a fried food shop, a stationery store, a second hand clothing store, and a temple. The ground beef cutlet of the fried food shop is delicious, but you'll have to wait in line. If you take a left at the fried food shop, you'll see the Retro Street. Here you can find a selection of cheek and sophisticated stores. There's also a jazz club at the end of the alley. Sometimes popular singers will go there, and, and liveness is inevitable. Oh, please continue. Yeah. Of course. After passing Retro Street, you'll see Rue de Chu, uh, well known, Healing, Chris Healing Crystal Store, selling power st uh, stones that provide real results. Ooh, interesting. Not only that, but the Rui de Chocho, there is a lounge to enjoy darts and billiards. Excitement is inevitable. inevitable. Last one's Harmony Alley, which is like a drinking district. It's uh, located just past this information desk. It has an old Japanese flavor, perfect for just enjoying the atmosphere. The inspiration is inevitable. Well, that's about it for the city. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, no, not really. Come again. Feel free to stop on by. Oh, that's quite a lot of information. I think we were able to find our insights about Kichiyogi. Alright, we get a pip. To knowledge. And from what I see, we're supposed to rank up on, on knowledge, but I think we'll be fine. Um, it's fine. We're probably just behind that a little bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out all these shops. Hmm. What the hell are Morgana's senses? Oh. Well, let's take a look. Hello and welcome. We have plenty of items here you, uh, you can give to others. Take your time. Ooh, okay. The employee dude was saying something about how their stuff makes good gifts, yeah? <laughs> it'd be, pr be pretty cool to get a gift from here. Huh. Oh. Holy crap, look at the line. I think I saw the store on TV. Oh, the smell looks like their special meat cutlet is their pop most popular item. Uh, well, I guess can't do shit if it's busy. But let's come back at night. see it. Are you gonna get a drink? Ooh, we have some SP items. Cool, let's just buy everything. Come 
on, man. Fancy couch. Oh, check out that comfy looking sofa. What are you doing sitting on that on it? Uh, just a little bit longer. Been going just a little bit longer. Hey, hello. <laughs> what was that? Got a pip to gut, so thanks. Okay. Um. foreign country. Some of these pre look pretty interesting. Please feel free to enjoy Thank all the taste. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, we can buy as many as we want. Awesome. Well, I'll buy, I'm gonna buy a few actually, because we, we, we're gonna need this for it. So just four. Then we're not gonna spend any more money, just so we can keep up the money that we have. Okay. Oh, this is, this is on the road. Hey. Name with that sh uh, shop matches what's uh, what's on the free tickets. Uh, penguin sniper, huh? Why'd you give one of those doofy birds a gun? For real? It's not meant to be taken literally. Huh. I'm gonna do that just yet, though. We still have some more other places to go. Check it out. Welcome. Ooh. Dang, those are 40,000. Goodness, that's a lot of money. Come Almost on. got a bloody nose just from looking at those prices. It looked like they actually had some power in them. We gotta check it out sometime. Maybe it will come in handy for the Phantom Thieves. Maybe. Hmm. Nintendo Store. Dude, I'm telling you, it seems freaky. They freaking fishy. Kind of no interest in, interest in instances, right? Why would you even use it? I don't know. <laughs> Just exploring the area, dude. Okay. Dude, this, Niku, this Nikuman looks so much tastier than the other, the ones at the convenience store. It does. Hey, you guys want to get one about? How about it? Hi there. Oh, these are less expensive. Let's buy a few. Just so I have some more healing items. Man, I wonder what they taste like. I'm totally gonna eat eat one of those days, one of these days. Bro. <laughs> okay, whatever. Ooh, I do see that clothing store right here. Hey. Suit clothing here. Suit clothes. Hmm. Nice. Forty years or I'll buy it, but I'll buy it. Hmm. Hmm. So? Welcome. Oh, pff. I have 23. Oh my god, we'll be getting so much money. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, should we do it? Sure, why not? That money. We'll keep some of them because why the heck not? We can't really do anything with them anyway. Oh, we can wash them in the laundromat, but that's fine. We got plenty of money now. Look at the prices. Trash into treasure. Clothing grab bag. Contains four sets of used clothes. What you get is used for surprise. Auto Masaku. Ooh, I have. I have enough points to get that. Any air flash occurs all non-special. Quick spray, fast acting, lowest accuracy. Sure, let's get this. Why the heck not? We have we had the points. Alright, that's all. Well, that was kind of a weird store, but I guess it was pretty fun. Let's check it out again sometime. Sure. Hello and welcome. We have plenty of items here you can give to others. Welcome. Okay, we were just here. Uh, did we check? Did we check out this place over here? It's like an arcade place. Oh, it's a temple. Huh. Quite a sight, huh? That a temple in the shopping district really helps the business. Hmm. Interesting. Bro, Makoto's just following us like crazy. Anyways, I believe that's 
could be all the places, maybe. Oh, there's one, there's one place right here. Jazz club? Oh, the jazz club. Okay, cool. See, we can't fast travel anywhere just yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and just head on over to Darts and Billiards. Dude, this is the place. Oh man, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> You're such a child. Probably not to embarrass the rest of us, would you? You don't gotta tell me that. So what's the plan? You wanna head inside? Someone look around real quick. Hey. Just cause I wanna save real quick. I'll just add this. Let's go ahead and save on this one right here. Okay, now let's head inside. Oh. Let's do it. You can now quick travel darts and billiards in Kichiyoji. Alright, Bull! That's a new high score! Bull? The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. <laughs> anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? Well, you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point. Come on. Oh, like you could do any Get better, Rokana. Get straight your arm out more, and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Uh, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Yeah, sounds fun. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening. <laughs> this would be a cool place to hang out at. Hang out at. Don't underestimate an ex I should look at a place that does dark and billiards. It'd be pretty cool. Hell yeah, triple 20! Whoa, he hit such a tiny spot. Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. Pretty cool. We're almost down to zero points. It's really focused for this last round. <laughs> zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane. But it makes you want to do your best for your partner. Yeah. Baton pass rank two. Damage up. Oh, cool. I feel like I understand something better after pairing up with Ryuji. Oh, awesome. What does that do? Baton pass rank. The higher your baton pass rank, the more powerful the effects will be when performing baton pass. Rank one increases damage dealt. Rank two increases damage dealt and, heal and heals HP after a baton pass. Uh, rank three increases damage dealt, heal even more HP after a baton pass and recover. Ooh. You've got five parties. Baton pass. Uh, rank on the stat screen. <laughs> Based on the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. That's a good way to look at it. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Oh, oh let's invite everybody next time. Yeah, for sure. Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like, uh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. Uh, you mean strokes of good a luck? stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? <laughs> Ooh, what's that? He doesn't even care. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have pool here, too. Hmm. This game could be useful, too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, uh, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. 
but it was super fun, right? Oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. For sure, we'll definitely do that again. Don't know when, but we will. That rank up's gonna be really nice. Hey. Her customers say it's gotten pretty dangerous over here. Over there. Don't let yourself be a target, got it? Mm. Huh, it's really gotten that unsafe, huh? That said, you still want to check out Kichi Joji at night, don't you? Don't worry, Sky. Worst comes to worst, I've got your back. Besides, there's a certain delicious smell on that street that bears investigating. Yeah! <laughs> Picked up some interesting info you might want to hear. Apparently, there's this old man who's been causing problems in Kichi Joji. If you make one wrong move or say the wrong thing, he flies into a rage and turns into a fight. Even if you don't hit him, he lies and says he's, you did, and then sues for damages. So he's like a con artist, or like a compass artist. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I agree, we can't let this guy go unchecked. Only problem is, knowing that he's an old troublemaker isn't enough to get us a name. But I did hear that he hangs out in Kichi Joji's Harmony of Alley a lot. This one man sure does sound like pro like a problem. And if we don't know his name, we can't make him have a change of, change of heart. Okay, sounds like our next stop is Kichi Joji. Let's go check out the Harmony Alley. Okay. Alright, who's available to hang out? Oh, you are. We will hang out with you, but just not yet. Um, we're actually gonna go to the second hand shop real quick, because I believe today they start they sell the retro game game set. How can I yes, right here. We got the money. Okay. Next up we're gonna go ahead and head on back head on back over to Kichi Joji. Uh before we hang out with uh Yoshida. So we can go see what this uh hey, hey. man is about. Okay. Oh and Velvet Room's here. We actually are gonna need a, a stun persona for we can get rid of Ferris. We're gonna need a stun persona for uh write Yoshida. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of Barrett. Hey, inmate! We can go ahead and buy our cheapest son uh, persona just so we have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and Justine, you hit summon me personas. Here. Oh, let's do it by Arcana, actually, yeah. Sun, 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 sun. Tipus one is Suzaku. This persona will drive this as your power. Are you okay. finished? What? I want to go back. No slacking off. And we are gonna go. To, we are gonna go to the food shop real quick. Uh, where is that at again? So we can buy some. Of that stuff because I said the evenings, right? Chunky Katsu's last one. What do you want? 30 SP. Ooh. That's nice. Alright. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and try to find where this guy is. Okay, let's see. I believe he's oh, not alone. Da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Where might this be? Hmm? I don't know. Um. Talk to about it. Where? Oh. Okay, art classes. Exclamation point over somebody. Mm -hmm. 
supposed to be a guy in a in like a red cap or something that we're supposed to listen in on. Um Kind of confusing. <laughs> okay. Focus. Um. That's not on it. Antique shop. Hey, hey. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting past here. Making out in this corner right in front of this guy? I mean, it is incense, so. <laughs> That's funny. Focus. Okay, I gotta find this person. I don't know where the heck he is. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I found him. That old man hasn't come he come here yet. I wonder I'm drinking in peace. I don't like bad mouthing my customers, but he makes him so much trouble. Old man making trouble? Hey, do you think they're talking about that elder elderly man causing trouble in Kichi Joji? Hey, this ain't no place for a youngin' like you. You looking for something round here? The elderly troublemaker. Ooh boy, so even kids like you know about him. That old man's out of control. He takes drinks with strangers, he starts fights. And when he gets in trouble, he causes a ruckus and tries to mooch people, mooch, mooch money off people. He's drunk, I'm trying to like sound drunk. What's creepy is the more trouble he makes, the wider his smile gets. You got a name? Oh yeah, the old man's always shouting his name over and over. Heiji Yolno, right? Yep, that's the name. Okay. Alright, got the name of our target. When he complains about his joints hurting on, hurting on rainy, uh, rainy days, I can't help but feel sorry for the old man. I wish we had, he didn't uh, hang around here, but stayed warm with his family instead. He might sound awfully sympathetic, but I think you really think he's a pain in the ass. Well, yeah, I'm not denying it. Mm, his joints hurt on rainy days, okay, poor guy. Let's go. Okay, cool. So we got all the information that we needed for that. So next up, we're going to go ahead and head on back to Shibuya and get that drink for the day. Since we haven't, we didn't do that earlier today. Hi. Five thousand. We got the money. Man. All right. Nice. Now we get a pip two charm. Alright, uh, next up, the, the lottery is not done yet, so I think it's on the 7th. So we're gonna go ahead and head and hang out with Yoshida. Everyone! Alright. Conviction of the government is often tested during times of turmoil. However, the current administration refu refuses to discuss their plans for the future. Can you really accept such an utter lack of transparency? I've been hearing this type of criticism about the government a lot lately. That's because Diet member Shido has been gaining popularity by saying the same thing. So he's just echoing another politician's criticism of the government. Apparently. Tch, whatever. So first you stole party funds, and now you're stealing the ideas, no good Tora. Stop talking all big, you ex-convict. Hmm. Ugh, it seems I've drawn the, or the audience once again. So he's claiming those who have made mistakes in the past shouldn't get a second chance. What can I say to that? Just shut up and listen, bro. What was that? You got something to say to me, kid? Yep. What's up with this kid? The ex convict has a point. Listen to what he has to say. Why, you little punk? Yes, I am no good Tora. And I have made mistakes, yes. I am unpopular, but I'm powerless. But that has nothing to do with my arguments. These are things I learned from my, all my hardships. Yes. You can ridicule me all you want, but I will continue to oppose what is wrong with this world. Today's speech ended up quite 
uh, being filled with a flood of passion, quite unexpectedly, I might add. The highlight, though, was, was your yelling. I couldn't help myself, man. I envy you. Conveying your thoughts with such conviction, I wish I had done that in the past. Okay, that is all for today. You two are amazing. I've been wrong this whole time. Even though someone has failed in the past, it doesn't mean that person can't try again. That's all I wanted to say. You. Please wait. Thank you. That is all I wanted to say. You're a strange one, just like that kid. I learned something from your dauntless spirit today. I have a bad habit of getting flustered whenever someone calls me no good Torah. But you see me as a, someone as a value, so I refuse to come a coward to criticism in front of you. Today, you taught me that I must have more confidence in my arguments. Tia, can we get a rank up? Rank four, awesome. Man of the people. All right. My way of thinking changes when I'm with you. Perhaps it's the influence of your youthful spirit. Ah, my apologies. It seems we're out of time. And our charm went up by two. I shall ask you again another time. See you again soon. Hello, thanks for all your hard work today. Thanks to you, I've remembered something very important. Now that I think about it, ever since the scandal, I felt alone and helpless, like the whole world was against me. Perhaps I got too used to, be, to the constant judging and critique, but I realized I'd, I'd overlooked something crucial. I'd forgotten the people who support me, and how encouraging it feels simply to be in their presence. Perhaps it seems too obvious or too trite, but I hope you remember to cherish that too. Can't forget your roots, man. Huh, <laughs> exactly. Sounds like you've already learned a lesson. I will engrave it into my heart. I can't let myself forget it again. Well, I'll be counting on you for my next speech, too. See you soon. See you soon. Oh! Our... Our trust... Thing went up to 16%. Do you see the news? Oh my gosh, con card. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, it's so gross and humid. Uh, today's headlines are Hot Sauce of Tokyo. Penguin Sniper has opened a business in Kichijoji. What's Penguin Sniper you ask? The zoo, a pet shop? No, it's a tendy lounge for darts and billiards. Whether alone or in a group, how, how you play is up to you. Oh. Oh, is, that, is that one lounge? Next time we go, I'm going to play darts too. Still, there, are, there sure are a lot of shops in Kichijoji. We should take our time and look around when we get the chance. We will definitely do that. Morning. The response to my ramen's press conference was huge. Everyone's talking about the calling card. The girls are checking me out today. Maybe they can't help but sense my overflowing fantasy charisma. Oh shit! Am I finally starting to be popular with all the flight hunt? Oh no. What's wrong? For What's wrong? Real? My uniform, man. That's that's what we're supposed to switch to summer uniforms today. I knew people were looking at me. Oh, God damn it! I gotta go home and change. So you go on ahead. Oof. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Holy shit! You're pale. Your short sleeves are so not for you. Shut up. Jeez. Anyway, did you catch the news yesterday? Watching the famous artist cry his eyes out over the art in the world. The same thing happened to Kamashita, right? Those got some weird calling cards, too. If you ask me, the same person is behind all this. The news this, fan this morning said uh, a group called the Phantoms are the ones behind the cards. I wonder how they get people to confess. I mean, they can't actually be stealing art. Blackmail, maybe. Ah, made it. Oops, spending first thing in the morning was a bad idea. Well, that's definitely my personal best by a lot. <laughs> How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> You knew, didn't you, about Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students? Yes, sir! What will come of you asking that? Wow. This investigation is for a just cause, correct? 
I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarame fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komishida's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <laughs> Dang. Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Ah! Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh crap, the social studies trip. Oh, I just want to ditch it. <laughs> You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. <laughs> that guy has attention. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. <laughs> that guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. <laughs> that was funny. It was pretty great having everyone talk about us, huh? My ramen is the only topic of conversation at my school. And as I'm as I'm his pupil, most of my peers have chosen to ignore me. For real? That's bullshit. Are you going to be okay? There's no need to worry. They had already been treating me differently from others as it stood. There's nothing new about, new to me. Okay then. More importantly, do we have any leads on our next mission? You kidding? There's no way to find a target that quick. To Mementos we go. We need to wait, wait and see. Understood. Ooh, we could always go to Mementos instead. I'll keep myself free. Please tell me if anything comes up. Oh. Hey, are you listening? Hey, strike. You pay attention. Blah, 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 blah. Feel murderous intent. Oh, dang. <laughs> Alright, I reloaded to when I got the dodge because I really want this charm because, like, you need all the charm you can possibly get. <laughs> hey. So we got two pips of charm. Phew. We got it. <laughs> oh? Uh, senpai. Oh. Ha uh, ha hi. Kasumi, what's up? What a pleasant surprise. It's really pouring down, isn't it? I thought something like this would happen, so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag. What a considerate kitty. <laughs> of course. This isn't something any ordinary cat would do. And just in case you've forgotten again, <laughs> I'm a human, not a cat. Well, see you around. Oh, we're not leaving you. Won't you get wet, though? Actually, I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Do you care to walk together? Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd 
would be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. What I wanted. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Prelims? Oh, the preliminary competition for gymnastics. Two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'll cheer you on. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. Oh, she's upset. She wanted to talk more. So did I. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school. And a boyfriend to escort her around? I, mean, I wouldn't say I'm her boyfriend, but I, mean, I wouldn't sure mind being her boyfriend. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me. My father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? You've got a great dad. Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Thank you for your lovely presence. Seems, pretty rough. Seems like Yoshizawa has it hard too. But never mind that. Having wet fur is the worst. Try to keep me under the umbrella, would you? Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, I found some brand new intel. This time it's bullying by a Kosei student named Kala Queen. She's been ordering around a male student who gets who goes by the name of M. Kind of like the M and S and M. Does M stand for Mishima? That's a secret. Anyway, here are the details. The girl acting like Queen is Takari Shimizu. Shimizu. I wonder if it's more likely that a girl will turn out like like that if she has an S as an initial. Well, I already posted the warning, so you should take it take it on when you have the time. Hopefully, you don't end up in an M. Hey, hey. What did he mean by S and M? Those are those are shirt sizes, right? Is it the size of clothes? Anyway, it seems like she's a worthy target. Let's find out. Uh, let's find time to consult jailers. All right, cool. We're actually gonna go ahead and end off the episode here. In the next episode, I'm, I'm actually going to buy some stuff off screen. Not a lot, just going to get some stuff. And then I'm also going to get the um, SP recovery items that restored. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching this episode of P5R. And I'll see you all next time.